Good cop, bad cop, RoboCop. How's it going everyone? I am Walter the Film Hermit and today I'm gonna to talk about the shout release of RoboCop 2. And I picked up the shout release of the RoboCop remake from, I believe it's 2014. If you like my videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel so much. So uh, I'm gonna talk about RoboCop 2 on 4K Blu-ray. Uh, this is gonna be officially released by Shout uh, Scream Factory on June 18th of this year. Uh, I ordered directly from Shout Factory and I was able to get it early, which I was really happy to get. Um, I got this in a separate package. I'm going to talk about the remake and RoboCop 2. I'm going to talk about my whole RoboCop collection and like my history with the franchise. And of course, since I ordered from Shout, I was able to get a poster for RoboCop 2. There is no poster for RoboCop the remake, but I don't really care about that. Um, again, if I haven't said it already, if you like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe. So, this comes out on June 18th and I got it early. And I'm going to talk about the whole franchise quickly and what I have in my collection. So. For the first RoboCop, which is like, of course, the best of my favorite RoboCop, I have the Arrow release. Um, this is the Arrow uh, slip box release for the Blu-ray. Uh, I think I might have done a video on this already, done an unboxing. I gotta go through my record and see if I did, but I picked this one up when it came out. Even though this has the same uh, 4K transfer as the MGM Blu-ray, I wanted to get a special edition for RoboCop because it's one of my favorite movies. And then shortly afterwards, they went ahead and they did a 4K UHD release for the film about a year, maybe two years later. And I already had this edition and it has all the same content, just had a 4K disc in it. So when I got that one, I went ahead and went with the Steelbook edition, which um, lovely art. This is actually one of the original posters from the movie. If you want to see the back of it, that's the back of it there. I don't know if I ever did an unboxing of this, but I'll do a quick one right now. Because it's one thing about videos I can't stand is when someone shows a steelbook and they don't show the inside art. So quickly, I'm gonna show the inside artwork. Uh, the Ed 209 sequence is inside, which is actually pretty cool. This poor guy. <laughs> it's really great whenever I watch, I watch this movie with uh, reaction videos on YouTube but people have never seen it before. And they just don't know what's coming. <laughs> they just start taking this movie seriously, which is actually hilarious. So yeah, so having a RoboCop, this came out in 1987. I remember I did not see it at the theater. I remember my dad rented it on VHS. And I remember the part where after Murphy gets shot and killed, uh, the, we were completely shocked. And at the part where he's in the hospital, I remember my dad just got up and left the room. So I went with him for a while and we didn't even stop to turn the TV off or stop the tape, it just kept going. And he was just, he went to his bedroom and he's like, I'm done with that movie, I'm not watching anymore. After about 10, 15 minutes, I went back in the family room and I just continued to watch it and I fell in love with this movie. I mean, the first time watching, I was shocked, but I just, I loved it. I have a friend, Alonza, who actually basically had the film like memorized. He'd probably say every line in the movie in sequence. He loved it so much. But Robocop, one of my favorite movies from the 1980s. When RoboCop 2 came out, I remember being like super, super, super excited and going went with a bunch of friends. One of the first R movies I saw without my parents, because back in the 80s, I don't know if they still have this policy, but back in the, the 90s, the 80s, if there was an R movie that um, you wanted to go see and your parents didn't want to go, they could just buy the tickets for you and say it's okay for you to go in and then you could go in, it wasn't a big deal. Which is a, an interesting point because I'm gonna talk about this when I talk about RoboCop 3. So. This is the shout release for RoboCop 2. This is just a regular Blu-ray. I picked this one up when it came out because I didn't have a Blu-ray for RoboCop 2. RoboCop 2 is not as good as RoboCop 1, obviously, but I think it's the best sequel that they made because one, Peter Weller was in it, and two, um, even though the film really didn't work, it has a really good director. Urban Kirshner that directed Empire Strikes Back directed it. And also because it's a shout release because shout releases always have really, really good documentaries like uh the actor that plays the villain Kane in the movie he talks about his decision to make the film and how he was kind of disappointed when they were making it he tells a story about how he would have um, lunches with the director and they would talk about how disappointed they were in the script 
none of the, the bonus features you get on these studio releases are ever this honest. And that's one thing about Shout Factory that I love. Uh, Nancy Allen, who plays uh, Robocop's partner in the, the whole franchise, um, she talks about how she was uh, really excited, loved making the first film and how she was disappointed with the second film because I guess the original script had more for her to do and they took a lot of that out. Um, so she she also talks about how the reason that she wanted to play Lewis in all three of the films because she wanted to, you know, service the fans and finish the franchise out. But also I wanted to point out the artwork here is different because on the shot releases, the Amory case has this art, but you can flip it over to get the original poster art. So that's the one I decided to flip over. So that's my Blu-ray release of it. So I already had it on Blu-ray, but the idea of getting it on 4K was really a, a good idea because this came out in 1990. It's the only RoboCop sequel that has Peter Weller in it, and it was shot on film. So I also wanted to see what it looked like. It looks really good. It looks better than I've ever seen it look before. This is the first time I've watched the movie all the way through in many, many years. And when I watch it, I can just see like, well, this is definitely not as good as the original. But when I was like a kid, it was like, this was like one of my favorite movies and I would always watch it, watch it over and over again. So I just wanted it for the nostalgia. So this is the last time that I'm ever gonna buy Robocop 2. One nice thing about this, cause there's a lot of people out there that are big fans of Laserdisc right now because Laserdisc have the original two channel audio tracks. This has the original two channel Laserdisc audio track on it. This has the original two channel audio track that from the Laserdisc on there. So that way you can um, have better video. And if you really like that two channel track, you have it here. So you don't have to rely on a Laserdisc that's probably gonna rot anyway. So one thing I also I picked up is uh, when two came out on Blu-ray, they released um, Robocop 3. And I hate Robocop 3. I've always hated Robocop 3. And I remember when this came out, I believe it was like in 1993, I had just graduated from high school. And I knew Peter Weller wasn't gonna be in it, but I just kind of wanted to see what they did with it. I was deeply disappointed. I remember I saw this at a um, bargain theater uh, back in Fresno when this came out. And it was like an afternoon matinee and I was like, fine, I'll watch it one time and just get it the hell over with. And I really disliked this movie. I didn't like the fact, spoiler, they killed Lewis off. It was really, and it's, the budget just seemed lower than all the other movies. I didn't like the fact that Peter Weller didn't come back. One really cool thing, the documentary on this is the reason I bought it. It is amazing. The director talks about deciding to take on the project and how he tried the best he could and how he would have done things differently if he could have. Um, that maybe some of the decisions that he made weren't the best decisions. Something that you never see on Studio Bonus Singers. He even talks about Peter Weller, like how Peter Weller like actually came and spoke to him and like, look, I'm making another movie Naked Lunch. If I could do it, I would. I never heard that before. I thought he was just like, no, I'm not coming back. Because they say in the second film that they had such a terrible experience making the second movie. I thought maybe that's why he didn't do three. But he basically told the director, I would, but I can't. I'm making this movie Naked Lunch and it's a good opportunity. And I was like, and they were saying how much they respected him for doing that. And I was like, that's really cool. So that's why I finally decided to invest in getting this because I wanted to have that documentary. And that would be nice to have all the movies. And I didn't pay full price for this, even though I did pay a little more than I should have because I wanted to get a slip cover for all the, all the match. Um, honestly, I didn't even open this until um, until I got the 4K because I wanted to watch the bonus feature. I didn't look at the poster that you get for RoboCop 3 on the other side. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys. This terrible poster that they came out with <clears throat> where you can clearly see it's not Peter Weller. I really remember that and wasn't really excited about this film. So I watched the documentary. I did not rewatch RoboCop 3. And I was like, nope, I once was enough. Um, but the only part of RoboCop 3 that I do like, and I remember this scene and I do quote it a lot. There's a scene towards the beginning where um, this guy walks into a donut shop and he pulls out like a machine gun and points it at the guy behind the counter and he's like, give me all your money. And then all of a sudden you see these little red dots all over him because the whole place is filled with cops. Not just filled with cops, there's only cops in there. <laughs> and they all point their guns at him. And the guy behind the counter, which I didn't know this at the time, it's actually Jeff Garland from Curb Your Enthusiasm. He's like super young. And he just looks at the guy, he's like, so what's it like being a rocket scientist? I always thought that part was funny. It's the only part of the movie that I like. The rest of it is garbage. Robocop flies at the end. It's just like, ugh, it's just forgettable. So um, the other Robocop movie was 
RoboCop, the 2014 remake, which I had the original Blu-ray. I didn't have a slip cover for it because I bought it super late because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. I've only watched this movie once and honestly, I did not like it. I wasn't alone in not liking it. I've read that the director of the film actually said some negative things about it before it actually its release date. So I watched it once. A lot of people always talk about the fact that it's not the worst movie ever made and maybe I was just too hard on it because I love the original so much. Uh, the only reason I ended up picking it up because I figured it's the last time that I'll ever pick it up and then I can have a slip cover. And honestly, it was a gift card that I won and then I never have to watch it again. Well, I do want to watch it one more time eventually. It just right now, I'm just not in the mood for it. For the video, I was just gonna throw it aside to cut it for a dramatic effect, but it looks like the disc is loose in here. So I don't want to throw it. So one of these days I'll check it out, but just not really right now. So in the comments, um, I do need some more comments on my videos. Please let me know. What copies of Robocop do you have? Um, are you gonna be picking up Robocop 2 in 4K? Um, is there better image quality available? Also, I did check that two channel laser disc track, which it actually calls it a laser disc track in the actual menu for the movie, is only on the 4K edition. It is not on the Blu-ray edition. And I wanna also point out that really nice slip cover by the way that you get both a blu-ray and a 4k in here because shot is still taking care of their customers and giving them both so uh let me know uh what editions of robocop you have are you going to be picking this one up did you guys get your shipment all ready for robocop 2 did you get the remake i've been noticing shot's been doing a, a, a lot of the movies have sold well for them like robocop and um carrie they're doing the remake versions too. Um, and I was wondering if more people are picking up the remakes. I'm not a big fan of the Carrie remake or the Robocop remake. So if you like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe. Helps the channel so much. And have a good day. Bye.